Hey everybody. Welcome back. This is Martin. We're uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about restoration. This is a, gonna be a multi-part part video. Um, it'll probably take a little while to do, but I figure I'm going to do this in stages. So the first part will be showing you the materials. Here's the materials of what I do to restore a pipe. Uh, some pipes need a lot of restoration. Some don't need much. Uh, so we're going to go through it. So I'm, I apologize if the focus kind of goes a little wonky at times, but really it's, it's mostly so I can give you close-ups and good shots of, of different, different materials used in this process that I do. So we're going to talk about pipe restoration over pipe. All right, let's get started. So what am I smoking? I am, again, smoking my 314, my, my little one. This is definitely one of my favorite little pipes. And I'm smoking some very, very good old gallery. I mean, this stuff has just always, always been good to me. It's one of my favorites. And it's summertime. Summertime is nice. It's, it's, it's a little lighter. You catch, you know, I, I feel like you get good flavors in summertime. I'm also, uh, and this is part of the pairing process that I do, I'm also drinking a nice terrapin out of Athens, Georgia. This is a C session IPA, whatever the heck that means. Uh, and I drink it in my little my little thermos. Thermos, that's so good. I don't know why I keep saying so good because it's so good. That's why. So let's talk about pipe restoration. Okay, what what do I need? for pipe restoration. Well, <laughs> this, this is the kit that I have developed. Um, and here, what you'll actually see is you'll see a boatload of sand. Um, that's, that's designed to hold this pipe as, as we do it. So this is, this is the pack. Okay. So, so what is individually in this pack? Well, let's start with, with number one, the pipe. So here's the pipe we're looking at. Okay. You can definitely see, uh, there's a little bit of cake build up in there, but not a ton of oxidation on the stem. There's a little bit here that I'm going to have to deal with, but not bad not bad at all and this is one I've been wanting for a while this is a 302 just a real pretty pipe really nice looking pipe I'm I am pretty excited to uh, bring this one back there is not a lot that I will do this um, for the most part, the majority of what I'll do to this is probably some reaming and some cleaning, but there is just not a ton. I mean, this is, this is probably one of the better ones that I have, I've, one of my better eBay specials that I've gotten. Um, so things that you need for at least, at least doing a, I guess what we call a, uh, a light rest pipe restoration. Um, one is right off the bat, and I can't express this enough. Is the, uh, this is my, and this is an old box, but my senior senior pipe reamer 
okay this thing this thing is a valuable piece of hardware this this is probably one of the most important things that I have and as you can see it's it's gotten plenty of use but you'll see that these what these do is these will retract as that head moves back and as that head moves forward it's going to widen these out and that's going to give you the ability to ream out this bowl okay because that's essentially going to fit here in this bowl and then we're going to ream it out these are great the i've had the small ones the small ones are good for just getting off the cake out of your initial um like cake build up in your in your own pipes but if you really want to get down and if it, it takes a lot of work if you really want to get down to that briar and and clean this out it's it's definitely it's definitely one that i, I recommend so but you know a couple other pieces to this is and most people i don't think use this very often your drill bit for really getting in there and digging out some of the things i mean it's this is a this is a great little tool i i love it it's it's once once you get this you you probably will not get anything else um so that's that's number one so i i've got that uh the second thing are going to be pipe cleaners uh, you want some tapered bristle. That's that's one of my preferences right here. So, and go with the classic BJ Long tapered. And the great thing about the tapered is that as you're pulling through the bit, that tapered part gets thicker and thicker and thicker and it really pulls a lot of that gunk out. I mean, it's it's really good. You're also gonna, uh, and that has some, some decent bristles on there. Then you probably wanna grab some of uh, the uh, tapered uh, without the bristles, okay? Because this is just going to mop up a lot of moisture, things of that nature. Um, I highly recommend this. Mutton Chop Piper recommends these. He does these for cleaning, but just, you can get these at CVS. So just your, you know, regular alcohol wipes. These are, these are great. I also, some of these are also part of my own um, cleaning supplies as well. You're gonna need this. This right here is my mixture that I have. This is uh, Everclear, very yeah, you know, uh, very like I call it high octane, but it's extremely uh, high proof grain alcohol. And then I have mixed in uh, two things that I prefer. One is a is a rum, and another is a bourbon that I like. Uh, and I utilize this, you know, whenever I smoke, really to to you to get that alcohol in there and just pull out and kill a lot of that bacteria and pull a lot of that out that's also part of just the cleaning process but this this is also used you know for me uh during the during towards the end after i've cleaned um q-tips i can't say enough about q-tips uh these things are invaluable just because they're nice and thick and they're great to get into um you also want some uh uh sandpaper uh, i would if you're if if you have a lot of oxidation on these um you can utilize a lot of sandpaper and in certain cases when there is a a full corrosion of oxidation which i've had um there's a couple methods there's the bleach method and there is the oxy oxy uh, uh whatever oxy clean method uh, i've used both and i'm I'm very hesitant on those. Uh, for this one, I, I will not use that. Um, I will probably buff this this portion out. Uh, I will probably scrape it and and buff it out. However, you know, I don't think I don't think I want to throw this entire stem into that. So I might have some discoloration here on this section, but that's okay to me because you know that's if that's the worst that I have, then, then I'm pretty good. This was a really good buy. I was very excited about this one, given the condition it was in. Um, also, uh, bits. So I have, uh, I picked these up from Home Depot. Uh, let's see if that will focus in the size. So these are quarter inch. There we go. So these are quarter inch tubing. And what's great about these, and I, uh, this is another tip that I got from Mutton Chop Piper. What's great about these is they create a nice soft bit 
on the end of, of, of the pipe. And um, I have this on all my pipes except for my, my, uh, um, my corn cobs. But this goes on every one of my pipes. And they're great. Just enough. Just enough for the bite. Um, really easy to clean. And the thing is, when you're done with it, you cut it off, put another one on, heat it up. And, and I use the, what, what has, what has helped me the most is I have used, um, a soft flame, soft flame butane. Those work well. Um, also a Zippo, you can use those too. Um, you just have to watch they get pretty hot if you keep doing it and you just, you want to rotate. You're just going to rotate it over and this will just shrink on. It's like, you know, it's like shrink wrap or anything else. It just really shrinks on. Um, so those, so those are, so you've got the reamer, so you need the reamer. So that way you're getting out everything. You've got to have, uh, the alcohol for cleaning out the stem, scrubbing it off. It's always good to have a knife. I, I prefer an exacto knife for getting off some of the, if you're not going to do a full oxy bath or a full bleach bath, I would use, I would use uh, an exacto knife to kind of scrub off. And then, and then I have a, um, a, 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 sharpening tool a knife sharpening tool with a very fine grit and it's got a fine grit belt and i'll probably use that on the outside of of the very end of this pipe just to get off any extra bits but what i'll do with this pipe is i'll give it a soap bath so i will scrub this thing down with soap i will you know try to get as much bacteria out i will utilize the alcohol the the so the probably the the more hazardous one is the retort um, so you can go to CVS and you can buy, I mean, I have feet of this rubber tube, this tubing, this less tubing, and you can get these test tubes actually from Hobby Lobby. Okay. And you can, you can see that there's some, still some soot on this one. And this one has, you know, has, has, has had some wear. Um, this one has been used thoroughly to clean, uh, several pipes. That I have, and this will blacken, and you just wipe it off, which is which is fine. This is the this is the tricky part. This is the part I think that most everybody can figure out how to ream out a bowl. I feel like most people can shove you know shove this in here, get that you know tool, grind, 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 uh, and do that. When you are when you are, and I can't I can also not stress this enough. When you are going through this process right here um i like to have more of a tight fit if it does not turn then i will back it off however make sure you are not grabbing the stem okay do not grab the stem right here when you're doing it i prefer to utilize both hands and i try to stay on the bowl I don't grab the shank. I don't grab any other parts. I, I try to stick just with the bowl. Um, some pipes are, are different. Some are easier to do that than others. I mean, comparatively so, this, this 314 that I have is, is, you know, significantly smaller, okay, in comparison. So, you know, if you're just looking at these two bowls, you know, there is a significant size difference. And so, you know, so there's, there's a little more to grip here. Um, so yeah, so the main things, again, just to go over, you're going to need a reaming tool. I, I suggest the senior one. Uh, you can get them all over the place. They're nearly indestructible. Uh, great, great tools. Uh, the next thing I would make sure to do is have all of your cleaning supplies all of every, every one of these i mean and i you need packs of them because you're going to go through these things like it's nobody's business so all your pipe cleaners get all your pipe cleaners get your q-tips you got to load up on these they're they're necessary uh get your alcohol wipes um and you know the very first step for me is one taking these this going in either the oxy, the bleach, or the um, uh, soap bath, and then this guy getting reamed. Okay, 
these guys are getting reamed and then that's done then so once you've once i've had this soaking in soap i will be reaming this out so i will let this soak for at least 24 hours and i will ream this one um a, a great amount i will ream and ream, ream it the next thing that you're going to want is you're going to want some coarse coarse salt kosher's kosher salt uh very thick don't get the sea salt don't get the fine grain and give this a salt bath now i do it after i have reamed this all the way down um i have i there are times where i've had a really rough bowl where i've had to uh ream it give it a salt bath get as much as i could ream it again um and that's that's going to happen too that's fine uh if it's really caked and it's bad that's fine this one this one is just i i don't see I don't see really a ton in this one, to be honest. This one looks pretty good to me. Um, so this one shouldn't take too much. But you're going to get the pipe tool, ream it, get your, get your bath ready. Uh, when you have reamed and done the salt baths, you're going to definitely do the retort. And this is going to go all the way through. Uh, you want to put some cotton balls. That's another thing you want to put cotton balls in here. We'll go through a lot of this as you go, as you see the different stages of what I do. Um, but, you know, the other thing is, is, is have fun with it. You know, this I feel with anything, whether you're a musician, whether you're a car enthusiast, whether you're a boat enthusiast, whether you like to build things out of wood, um, whatever it is, if you're into guns, if you're into knives, if you're into alcohols, I feel that people learn a lot more with hands-on experience uh, and can appreciate their hobby and what they like more when they have hands-on experience and um, and that's just you know i i hope you get something out of this i i hope this wasn't too much of of kind of rambling back and forth uh, i tried to keep it you know as, as significantly organized as i could you know just just jumping on and doing a, a quick start to this um we will we will get into each stage though uh going forward and Hey, let's have some fun and uh, let's uh, let's uh, do some light restoration on a pipe. This is Martin signing off. Thanks for coming and uh, watching my video. I appreciate you uh, and talk to you soon.